Thank you very much for inviting me here today. It is, of course, a great honor for me to address all of you, and in particular, the President-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran, Mrs. Mariana Ajevi. You, and I would say all of you, represent the flame of hope for the Iranian people, hope for a secular republic based on democratic values. Over the last millennia, and you can say this only for a handful of countries, Iran has been at the center of world cultural and economic development. And it is therefore particularly sad and disturbing to see the Iranian people going through such a difficult period over the last uh, decades. The failure of uh, the current regime uh, in managing the Iranian economy and the Iranian society is clear to everybody. Economic growth. Gross domestic product has been stagnant for decades and indeed per capita income has actually declined by almost 3% between 2010 and 2020. Unemployment. The unemployment rate has remained high at close to 10% according to official figures, but it's twice as large according to some estimates by independent observers. Inflation. Consumer price inflation reached 40% last year. And poverty. As a result of all this, poverty has become widespread. Let me underscore, however, that uh, the problems arising for the Iranian people from uh, the disappointing performance of the Iranian economy pale when compared to the problems caused by lack of freedom and democracy and by corruption and poor governance. I therefore support, I fully support, Mariami Rajavi's 10-point plan to turn Iran into a secular republic, a secular republic based on democratic values, a republic that rejects dictatorship in all forms, be it uh, the, the previous dictatorship of the Shah or the current theocratic regime. Iran needs a free election. Iran needs freedom of expression, freedom of religion, gender equality, an independent judiciary, and a non-nuclear country. Let me conclude by thanking you for what you do. I come from a country, Italy, that during the last century suffered from the fascist dictatorship. I, fortunately, I was lucky enough to be born after Italy became a democracy. But my parents grew up during fascism and they taught me the values of freedom and democracy. So please uh, keep fighting for the freedom, not only of the Iranian people, but it will be good for Iran and it will be good for the whole world. And you will eventually prevail. Thank you very much.